Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on my February favorites. I have a ton of stuff in front of me that I really want to go over and talk about in this video, so I'm not going to do a long intro and instead we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. But please let me know down in the comments what you guys have been loving for the past month because I do love trying new things. The very first thing that I want to talk about are some really cute glasses that I recently got from GlassesUSA.com. I have done a video with them before, if you guys remember. And I was so in love with their glasses. I still have them. I still wear them. So I decided to collaborate with them for a few more videos. And I'm going to probably throw in some makeup tutorials and just like some really fun stuff like to do with glasses, how to wear them, you know, what kind of hair styles or makeup looks to do with them. So these are definitely one of my favorites that I got. I usually have glasses that are like more cat eye shaped or more square and smaller but these are pretty large very circular and I'm totally loving it just because I've never had any like this before they have over 4,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses on their website guys so for example the in-house brands are Muse, Amelia E, and then the designer brands are like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Armani, Oakley, stuff like that. I really like these. I think it's cute for like going to work or like if you had your hair up. What's really cool is that if you need prescription lenses, you can get those with almost every single pair of glasses on the website as well as with the sunglasses. They start about $30 a pair and that includes the prescription lenses in the price, so that's really nice. I honestly have never seen glasses like this before or anyone in person wearing glasses like these, so this is definitely a fun style to rock just so you can look a little different. I think the most difficult thing with glasses is trying to figure out which ones are gonna look good on your face shape, um, and it's really hard to tell when you're looking at models. So what I really like about this website is that they have a virtual mirror, which means that you can actually upload your photo, a photo of your face, like a forward facing photo of yourself. You just have to align these like little dots onto your eyes so that it has like the perfect measurements for your face and then it automatically throws on the glasses for you and you can see how every single pair of glasses looks on your face as you scroll down the web page. So yeah, these are so cute. I'm obsessed with these glasses. If you guys want to check them out, I will put the link to glassesusa.com right down in the, in the description box, I can't speak. It'll be the very first link that you see. I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Don't forget, down in the description box below is a link that you can click on that'll directly take you to glassesusa.com so you can check out all of their glasses and sunglasses if you wanna get yourself a pair too. So next, I want to talk about hair. I just wanna address the curliness going on right now. You guys are probably like, is her curly hair back for good? I had my hair curly, um, it's naturally curly, when I very first started my YouTube channel. And um, I was doing videos trying to help out girls out there who had curly hair and basically just teaching them how to style it and stuff like that. But at the time I didn't have like the healthiest hair because I did use heat on it all the time, um, I straighten out my bangs. I used a diffuser to make my curls look more together and have more shape. So definitely a lot of hair product was used and heat styling. It was cool because I had my naturally curly hair. I was like embracing it. And then over the past few years, I've just kind of like really gotten spoiled with the straight hair or the curled hair and the extensions. It was after I'd taken my tape and extensions out that I realized how bad my hair was. It was terrible. I could tell that it was breaking. It was just falling apart. Um, the ends were frayed. It felt very thin and brittle. The past, over this past week, I've just been doing so much research trying to figure out how I can revive my hair. But yeah, I've just been doing hair masks and treatments on it and the curls are definitely coming back. I'm still having a little bit of frizz going on, but for the most part, I think it's it's looking pretty good. And what's funny is I'm not even using any hair products to make or any heat to make my curls this way. This is just how my curls are when I get out of the shower and let it air dry. So that's really cool for me. It has never been like that, ever. So I'm just like really loving this right now and 
I'm gonna be making a whole ton of videos all about what I use, my new routine, all the different things that I have been learning. It just seemed like it was the right thing to do and that's kind of like where I'm going now with my channel. So hopefully you guys like that. So this is the Project Beauty Hair Group Strawberry Banana Smoothing Yogurt Shampoo. So I do two masks a week and what I really love about this is that I'll use this when I'm going to get the masks out in the shower. This is the only thing that has really worked for me that doesn't dry me out. That's something I have a problem with. A lot of shampoos that I had used in the past, they would strip my hair of all the oils. I would feel super dry and I would never want to wash my hair. I would only wash it like once a week. This really is nice because it smells good. Um, it helps to tame unruly frizz, dry hair, and it is infused with uh, prebiotics, quinoa, a botanical oil blend, biokeratin. As of right now, I'm, I'm still kind of like on the lookout for a cleansing conditioner. I'm thinking of either getting Ren Pure, which I believe you can get at Target, which is like the cheaper alternative to Wen. As of deep conditioners right now, what I'm really loving is this like little sample I had gotten from one of my subscription boxes a long time ago, and I found it and I'm like, yes, this is what I think I need. It's the Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Deep Nourishing Conditioning Treatment. It is sulfate free. It's made with tropical coconut, shea butter, and biotin to help restore dry damaged hair and it adds shine and it protects your color if your hair is colored. My hair is so thin, I can't take the super heavy things and also my hair doesn't absorb moisture well at all. It's very hard for me to get my hair cuticles to open and for the moisture to actually penetrate. That's why I really like this. It just feels very lightweight and yet it still does a good job, I'd say, of conditioning my hair. Next up is jojoba oil. This is 100% pure, natural, unrefined, chemical free. This is uh, from Amazon, I believe. I got this a while ago, but it's my favorite carrier oil right now um, because I like to use it on my hair and my face. I use this to help lock in the moisture after everything's been cleansed. I only use three drops and I like that it's lightweight so it doesn't ever feel greasy. Like my hair doesn't feel weighed down, my face doesn't feel overly greasy. Um, it's just one of those oils that's very fast absorbing and you don't even notice that you put it on besides the fact that your hair is now super hydrated and healthy looking. I have this still in the box because I thought the box was really cute but I also got this from Amazon. This is called a Jade Roller. So there's a million different things that a Jade Roller does. I honestly can't remember all of them. <laughs> I know that it helps with blood circulation and tension on your face. It helps reduce stress. It feels really good because the jade is cold, like it's just naturally a really cold kind of stone. So as you roll it onto your face, it just feels very soothing. It helps my serums to absorb better into my skin instead of sitting on top of it. I do it for about five minutes, so I'll start like around my jawline area and chin and then I'll work on my cheeks going up, always going upwards. And then on the other side of it is a tinier little jade stone. And so this is what you use for the under eye area, so it's very delicate there. And I don't ever press super hard, very gentle, but I've been using this for the past month and I really like it. I think I'm noticing a difference mostly with how my serums are absorbing into my skin and it feels good. So I'm thinking that it's worth it. <laughs> it wasn't too expensive either. I did like a crazy Amazon ordering spray. That's basically what happened. <laughs> I also got these. They are essential oils. It comes in a set of eight. There were so many different kinds of essential oils that I wanted to try for both my hair and my skin. Um, and I didn't want to order them all separately because there's just too many of them that I was really interested in. So I decided to pick out this cute little set here. They're all super small and that way I can sample them and see which ones I really, really like. And as it turns out, um, and by the way, this brand, this brand is awesome. Like check this out. It came with this booklet that gives you recipes to do your own hair masks with the essential oils and uh, face masks, how to make your own do-it-yourself cleaners, like all-purpose cleaners for your house. There's, It's a cute little booklet that has so many things in there. And I like how it was packaged too. This is like really nice so everything doesn't break during shipment. I ended up getting sweet orange, lemongrass, frankincense, tea tree, peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus, and lavender. So the ones that I 
use the most, I'd say number one is probably tea tree oil. That one is so good for clearing your scalp and it helps with dandruff, it helps with dryness, itchiness. But I also like to use it on my face and I'll put it like directly on an acne spot and I'll notice by the next day it's like basically gone. So very good for treating acne as well. I use rosemary and lavender a lot because it helps with hair growth. Um, it's, it honestly smells good. Lavender is one of my most favorite scents. Obsessing over them. I even made my own do-it-yourself makeup brush cleaner that I have to share with you guys. I'm going to make my own soap for cleaning my dishes. I'm going to make a soap for cleaning my floors. I'm going to um, also do a face wash and possibly a leave-in conditioner. So <laughs> I have like so many plans for these. They're so cool and I am excited to get more use out of them. And yes, in case you're wondering, I will definitely be filming every time that I do something really cool with these. Also, I wanted to talk about this face mask. It's called Purifying Black Charcoal Mask. It's by the brand S-O-O-A-E. I had got, gotten this in one of my subscription boxes and I really liked it. I've tried so many sheet masks in the past and this one was good because I noticed that it actually stayed, like the mask itself, it didn't dry out for the full 20 minutes that I used it. Normally when I use sheet masks, it's like seven minutes maybe goes by and it's like my face just absorbed every single thing in the sheet mask and it's just like this dry mask on my face. Afterwards, what you can do, since there's extra liquid in the bag, you can pour that out after you take the mask off and rub it into your skin. And there's honestly like a lot of liquid that's still on your skin from the mask after you pull it off and then also in here. So I ended up using my jade roller to kind of help everything absorb better into my skin. It worked out perfectly. Um, and this I really liked because of the charcoal. It helps to uh, get rid of impurities on your face. It's just like a, a way to really clarify and deep clean your pores. And then it's also infused with um, green tea extract and hyaluronic acid, which helps to really deliver hydration into your skin. So this mask really did it for me. I was so happy with it. I'm definitely going to be ordering more. I even saw reviews on Ipsy. So I think it was the Ipsy box I got it from or Ipsy bag. There was like 20, I think there was 20,000 reviews. I was like, yeah. So everyone really liked that mask apparently. I did really enjoy using this. This is the Sigma Beauty Chroma Glow Shimmer and Highlight Palette. This is so freaking stunning. Like this is by far my most favorite highlighting palette ever. All of the shades in here are wearable for me. They're so freaking Beautiful. I just can't get over it. They're so creamy. I am wearing three of them <laughs> on my face right now. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, so I have these two mixed together as blush. I used the shade Peaceful as my highlight today and also in the inner corners. But I also really like this one too, Ambrosia. And then these are fun to play around with when you're just doing like crazy colorful looks. This new palette really cool like unicorn type theme. It's called the Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorns Ethereal Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. So I did use some of the shadows today to do my eye makeup. I used these three here. I really like these though. They're so fun. They're so colorful. I read up a little bit on this palette and they're actually, these eyeshadows are infused with rose quartz. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I just like all the color choices here. It's just fun to play around with. I think that this is a great palette for spring. Also this, it is a moisturizing lip buffer, sugar with sugar and lemon in it by Seraphine Botanicals. Every time I get out of the shower, I'll put it on my lips and do like a light exfoliation with it. But what's cool is that it, um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's like yellow. I like that the exfoliation is very gentle and it slowly absorbs into your lips like it doesn't stay it's not like a bunch of little beads all over your lips like it it gets absorbed in there it feels great afterwards my lips look super plump and moisturized it's just really quick and easy to use and honestly it just tastes amazing so 
I love it. Also, I want to talk about nail polish, what I'm wearing right now on my super short, ugly nails. I am slowly trying to grow them out as well. You know, I figure if I'm just going to like revamp my hair, I might as well revamp my face, my body, my nails, like literally everything. And um, I really like this nail polish because it hides how hideously ugly my nails are right now. It kind of like makes them sink into the rest of my skin as if you can't really see them at all like whereas if I was to wear something really dark or something really light then you would obviously see how ugly they are but this just kind of like hides them away into my fingers and you don't really notice anything um, this is the Sephora OPI nail color in let's do lunch honestly I know absolutely nothing about nail polishes um, I've only been trying to like figure out how to treat my nails. I've been doing like vitamin E oil. Um, I'm just slowly learning guys. Let me know in the comments if you know any nail polishes that you really really like. Um, that you think are good. So this is Indian Healing Clay. This has been a huge, huge help with my skincare and hair care routine. I love to use it with, um, apple cider vinegar in my hair for like my scalp to do a clarifying kind of rinse oh my gosh it works so well like with my hair what i found is that it gets a lot of product filled up because like i said moisture just does not sink into my hair it's uh it's very low porosity i don't know if you guys have ever heard that before i'll definitely try and do a video on it but basically with low porosity hair it means that it's just so hard to get products or anything really to absorb into your hair. My hair follicle is basically like this, whereas with high porosity hair, it has tiny little ridges on it so that anything you put on, it'll just sink right into the hair follicle and it'll just get reap all the benefits from it. But I can't just put things on my hair and then expect my hair to soak it up because it definitely won't. So what ends up happening is I have product buildup and a lot of product buildup if I happen to use like too heavy oils or really any oils at all or any type of hair product it'll just build up and it won't ever really sink in and then my hair will feel greasy and weighed down and it's just gross right so this is really nice because it helps to clarify my scalp and it completely gets rid of all of that product buildup I also use it on my skin as a mask with a little bit of apple cider vinegar as well. Um, I can't remember what else I mixed it with, but I showed it on Snapchat and on my Instagram, which I think I'm gonna start doing from now on, guys. Every time I do a mask or maybe even a hair mask, I'll post it on my stories or on my Snapchat with all the ingredients I use so that you guys can see the little things that I'm doing here and there. And then like, if I really, really like something, I will definitely film it and do like a whole video about it. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Don't forget, down in the description box below is a link that you can click on that'll directly take you to glassesusa.com so you can check out all of their glasses and sunglasses if you want to get yourself a pair too. And yeah, I will also link down below all of the products that I have talked about or mentioned in this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you ended up liking it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let me know um, what your favorites were for the past month. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.